Hi, this is uh, Driveway DIY. Today I'm going to show you how to change your, uh, the wheel of your car. Uh, if you ever get a flat stuck on the side of the road, uh, somewhere where uh, it's difficult to uh, call someone or get any help, this is uh, this is hopefully going to get you out of a bit of a uh, situation. Uh, the things you're going to need, basically, this is using stuff that's in the back of your car in your boot, uh, spare wheel, brace, and jack. Uh, it's almost worth having a, a spare of uh, disposable gloves in the uh, in the boot with your spare tyre as well. Perhaps even something to kneel on because you never know when you're going to need it. You might have your posh suit on or posh dress or whatever and you're stuck with a flat and you need to change your tyre and you've got to do it really, really quick. Uh, one of the things for your uh, car maintenance as well is always when you're doing the car maintenance uh, periodically uh, is to check your spare tyre, make sure it's pumped up, make sure it's got the right PSI on it because uh, the last thing you want is when you get stuck with a flat tyre, you've got another flat tyre to replace it with so you're, gonna, uh, you're not going to be in a very good position, you're going to be late and it's going to be uh, going to be a bad day for you so it's very basic, it's very easy and this is just using the, uh, the tools of your car so let's go on with it first thing you've got to do try and get your car to a safe place if you've got a flat tyre, you don't want to be doing it on a hill or on a grass verge or somewhere like that, try and get into a lay, lay by, uh, try and be safe. Use your, uh, hopefully, you'll have some disposable gloves with you if you put them in your boot uh, and be prepared to, uh, to get wet and to get dirty. Again, first thing you've got to do, make sure your car is safe, uh, make sure there's no traffic coming behind you, make sure you've got all the right equipment with you. Uh, first thing I'm going to do. Have a play with your jack first, make sure you know how to use it. This one's uh, very basic, well looked after, it's not been used much, it's been greased as well. Uh, first thing you want to do, undo your wheel nuts first. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. So, it's going to be hard, you've got a short brace. But you want to do this when the car's on the floor. Don't, don't be scared to stand on the brace or might be even worth taking something a bit longer in your boot. Uh, but it always goes left, just undo them. Some good leverage. So they've been undone. Under, underneath your car, you should have a, uh, have a jack point. It's usually a solid bit of metal, something that's att attached to the chassis. Uh, that's where you want to get your uh, jack underneath. Make sure it's safe before you start jumping, jacking it up. Get right on the lip. Make sure your jack is straight. You don't want it falling on you when you're trying to do it. There you go. The weight of the car keeps it keeps it fairly stable. So there we go. Not a fan of these jacks, but this is all you've got. Make sure your handbrake's on your car as well. Make sure there's no possibility of it collapsing on you when you're trying to put the wheel on. Everything on the hand. There you go. It's pretty stable. Do the bolts again. And do the... Have your spare wheel on hand. Take one, make sure there's good clearance for the new tyre as well, because bear in mind you've got a flat, so you've got to get it higher to put your new tyre on. Uh, so basically undo your, nut, your, uh, your nuts. So 
So you see a lot of people doing it with impacts and stuff like that, but when you're on the road, you're not going to evoke those sort of uh, things with you. This is good for car maintenance as well. Get used to taking your uh, tyres off, taking your wheels off. There you go, down to one side, and then put the new one on. I always, uh, my drums have got proper grease on them for when I do maintenance, so that's well worth doing when you're doing maintenance on your uh, driveway. Always put a bit of copper grease on because the last thing you want is not being able to get your wheel off when you want to change. Uh, so take the old one off, put the new one on. Careful, don't hit your pack with these things. Put it back on. Put your uh, wheel nuts on. Do them at hand tight. Crissy crossy when you tighten them. Make sure your wheel's nice and tight on. Obviously this varies a little bit for different models, but the idea is the same. So hand tight, don't cross the threads. Make sure it's on properly. Start dropping your car. This video is mainly for, your, uh, for the equipment that you'll have with you. Obviously, if you're uh, if you're well into cars, then you probably have some different stuff with you. But, uh, keep winding it down. Tighten your wheel bolts while it's on the floor. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. It's been a while since I've used a brace like this before. I used to use my uh, cheetah bar. This is basically to get you out of, your, uh, out of the crap. If you're worried about how tight they should be, take them down the garage and get a torque wrench. Get them to torque them up for you. But this will get you from A to B. Get you out of the situation that you're going to be in. It's basically all you need. Gloves, jack, brace, spare wheel, hopefully be in good condition. Uh, make sure you're safe. Have some goggles with you if you can, but hopefully uh, this will help if you get caught in a situation. Always remember lefty loosey righty tighty for the people who don't know, because before you know it you tighten it rather than loosen it and it's getting even worse for you. But uh, that's basically how to change a wheel. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching.